Wow. Say hi to the person next, sitting next to you and tell them you look wonderful. Yes, you look great, ladies, this evening. Our host, Nation Media Group, CEO, Mr. Stephen, fellow speakers, invited guests, and distinguished ladies. Good evening. It is indeed a great honor to join you this evening as we congregate to celebrate this year's International Women's Day. This is a day set aside to acknowledge the value and importance of women in our lives all around the world. I want to admit that when I received the invitation to be part of this celebration from the nation group, I did not hesitate to accept as I believe that being amidst women who have carved a niche for other women is inspiring enough to be emulated by the rest of us. Allow me to extend my gratitude to Nation Media Group for finding it appropriate to bring together women from diverse backgrounds to engage through such an elaborate occasion. The beauty of such a conference is what it provides us with a safe space to be ourselves loosen a bit, reflect on issues that matters most to us without feeling excluded. This year's theme, Inspire Inclusions, spur all stakeholders to act rather than pay lip services to the critical values of supporting women across all levels of engagement. The theme does not seek to be little or erode the importance of men in our society. Neither does it seek to upset any established order. The focus is on the need to identify perceptions that are very important to the proper development of women to take the needed action to reverse these biases. It is to clarify to the world the importance of the development and partnership of men and women to make the world a better place for all of us. Distinguished fellow ladies, allow me to take you back in history. 28 years ago, women gathered at the Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing, China. Being a turning point for gender equality, the Beijing Conference codified women's full participation based on equality in all spheres as a non-negotiable fundamental for the achievement of equality, development, and peace. Some of us will say that a quarter century will be enough to achieve all set goals. The reality is quite different. Not only are the gaps not being closed at the pace that is expected, but in many places, women are experiencing societal backlash triggered by the very progress in exercising their rights. Our struggle continues. And while we are celebrating and paying tribute to women's achievements from the past, let us take this moment to also recognize and encourage progressive female role models of today by strengthening their capabilities to act, express themselves, emissate themselves and their communities freely everywhere in the world. Women at the, women at the global level as well as in Kenya are still not sufficiently represented in decision-making position and management structures. An average woman during her lifetime will spend at least eight years in unpaid work. And if we continue at this pace, it will take us over 257 years to close the economic gap. This tells us that the road to achieving gender equality is long and challenging, and that it requires a comprehensive approach, responsibility, 
enjoying action by all, be it institutions or at an individual level. Sister Wright tonight, we are reminded of the agency of women to be at the decision-making table at all levels. We must all do our part to break the glass ceiling and open the doors of opportunity. When I look around, I see a room that is filled with champions. For most of us, your influence within your professional circles has profound, not just to the ladies around you, but by the fact that because of your intervention, you have influenced your organization to rethink the approach to women issues and prioritize this over time. Distinguished guests, you will agree with me that inspiring inclusion help us to position ourselves to take advantage of the opportunities that come our way. It recognizes the importance of collective power. The true note that has guided me throughout my banking career for the past 25 years. During this period, I've realized that it is not only through building solidarity between various players that we can be able to mobilize, organize, and harness our ability to defend and promote our rights. I have always held the nation that the moment a woman comes home to herself, the moment she knows that she has become a person of influence, an artist of her life, a sculpture of her universe, a person with rights and responsibility, who is respected and respect herself, and her deepest knowing, the restoration of the world begins. In Kenya, women have for a long time played a very important role, not only in the preservation and care for the family, but also in building and consolidation of statehood, strengthening of institutions of the country, and development of democracy. Through their direct participation in all processes, the national government through the Women Economic Empowerment Strategy 2020 to 25, identifies women's ability to gain access and control over reproductive resources as a prerequisite tool to the achievement of Kenya Vision 2030 economic blueprint. What women bring to any team or group is incredibly valuable. The 2021 Harvard Business Review found that a business group collective intelligence quantum went up significantly when women were part of the team. Yet despite the incredible value that women bring to the table, we often second guess this value. What we do not realize is that by using out of power language for fear of causing offenses or being less informed or articulate than others, we do a disservice to ourselves and those around us. Experience has shown that Progress for women is progress for all of us. Giving priority to women is not an option, it is an obligation. Investing in women is more than a matter of right. It also stands for good economic sense. This is therefore a call for combined effort between state and non-state actors in which all people especially women, feel included in the basic decision that affects their lives. Seated here, my promise is that KCB Bank will be here every step of the way. While we may be working under different circumstances, we are all united by a single passionate belief, empowered women and girls transform societies. Your presence here is a living proof that women deliver and together we can build a wall where all lives have 
equal values. I am proud to know that KCB has taken a leading role in empowering the next generation of women leaders. From where we sit, economic empowerment stands as a cornerstone of women's overall well-being and independence. It is not merely about financial inclusion. It represents a profound journey towards providing women with the necessary tools, resources, opportunities that they need to thrive in every aspect of their lives. We are proud of our progress and commitment to creating a workplace that is diverse, inclusive, supportive, and empowering to all. In line with SDG 5, that is gender equality, and our core values of being closer, connected, and courageous, we have made significant strides and bold steps to advance gender parity. First, we have continued to champion inclusivity. Today, we stand among an elite list of organizations which have achieved significant milestones around gender inclusivity, with a female employee constituting 47% of the total headcount, 41% at managerial role, and 33% at the senior executive role. And I am a living example of this inclusivity. <laughs> Secondly, through our transformative Women in Leadership Network program, we are on a journey to mentor high potential women. We have empowered over a thousand talented female professionals with the skills and confidence needed to ascend to leadership position within the group and beyond. And I want to state as a female executive that we earn our positions because we do have what it takes to sit on the table. It is, a, it is exciting to note. Thank you. It's also exciting to know the momentum and drive around this program. Externally, through the KCB Foundation, we continue to create opportunities for women and youth through our scholarship and enterprise development program. We also take pride in our effort to support women through the women-led and made enterprises. It is called the Flame Value Proposition. To date, in the last two years, KCB has dispensed loan totaling to 119 billion to 684,000 female customers. Through a series of customer engagement nationwide, our goal is to leverage our extensive branch network to enhance the visibility of flame and empower women entrepreneurs. To this end, we have made deliberate strides to ensure that at least 30% of our procurement tender is allocated to women entrepreneurs. This is an increase from the previous allocation of 20%. I am confident that through such initiatives, we shall be able to play a critical role in giving rise to concrete measures and action geared towards promoting and supporting women participation in the economy as a means of achieving sustainable economic growth, reducing poverty, and enabling widespread prosperity for all. As I conclude, I leave you with the words of the writer Gertrude Stein, who said, you are extraordinary within your limits, but your limits are extraordinary. Let this dinner event be an opportunity for us to reaffirm our shared commitment to leaving no one behind and accelerate our efforts towards building a more secure, accessible, inclusive, and equitable world for all women, regardless of their socioeconomic status in society. 
Thank you. God bless you all as we take a step towards Inspire Inclusion. Thank you. Asante sana. Tumpigia makofi jabani bi Anastasia Kimutai. Kina mama hoye. Kina mama hoye.